Quite a pretty approach. I think this is Calder Homes Park. Look at that. So I've got to Hebden Bridge, got a very sweet little train station. I'm just walking on the water and already passing by some old mills, which this place is famous for. The mills, I believe, shut down in the 70s. As a result, housing was cheap and it brought in a lot of um, creatives and artists, which resulted in a town full of Lots of independent shops, um, not that many chains. Um, so it's a really nice, unique place to come to for a little bit of shopping and drinking and eating. Um, I'm not spending too long in Hebden Bridge itself. I'll be walking to Hardcastle Crags, which is quite a steep climb up there. Hepton Bridge to High Castle Crags. These are the hills I was talking about. <laughs> Got myself a cheeky little coffee and a sausage roll. I think there might be a good few people at High Castle Crags, I'm not sure. This is so sippy. Kind of steeper than it looks. I did think I was going to be walking on roads with no paths though, so that's a relief. Um, although this is only a small segment of the walk, so we'll see how we go. So I'm at the top of the steps, but there's a good way to go yet. All in all, it's supposed to be about half an hour from Hebden Bridge to uh, the entrance to Hardcastle Crags, roughly. Um, obviously, the only thing is that it's quite hilly. Um, you get a sense of the kind of valley, and it's a lot like Halifax. And it's quite close to Halifax. And what you find in Halifax is all the buildings are sort of stacked up against the hill. And it it's like layers all the way down, which makes some incredible views. But yeah, similar kind of deal here. Tide Castle Crags is National Trust, um, which often involves a fee. The nice thing about Hard Castle Crags is that it doesn't. Um, they just charge for parking, which obviously I'm not doing today. Um, and I think parking is about five pounds. It's a pretty windy, windy road of all these, all this bracken on the edge. There is a path just over there and I don't know if I'm supposed to be on it or how I was supposed to have gotten to it, but this is the way the maps have shown me. road that I'm walking on is pretty pretty lovely with all the colours. Oh should I walk that way? Don't get me off the road. That's 
I'm scared. Let's look at Google Maps. And that path's not on this map. I'm just going to stay on the road just in case. It looks like it could go elsewhere. I'm not far now, anyway. I don't know what this is, but look, it looks like an old demolished building. And what is that? There's like a waterfall going through it. All those lovely colours. Made it. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure. Uh oh. Mm. I forgot I bought a sausage roll. It is good, but now I'm covered in pasty flakes. I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright So I'm um, not actually going across these stepping stones, but you know when you see stepping stones and you kind of have to jump across them a little bit. I'm finding it really hard to actually get anywhere because I'll just keep stopping and taking little videos and photos. It's so pretty. It helps that all the leaves are turning. The colour of that bracken. See, to me, that looks like a packet of sweets. There's the mill. Unfortunately, it looks like there's some scaffolding up at the minute, some work going on. I found this bench. We're on the back of the mill. I know I get this view. Some smoked cheddar and ham, should be good. And a bowl of coffee with oat milk. It's a bit nice, isn't it? So it is a shame about the scaffolding, but it's still very lovely here. think about continuing on there's um I heard somebody says a waterfall I don't remember that but you can get to the the crags themselves if you keep going past the mill my train is at half three so I need to uh, start making my way back I'm on the road again let's see if I can make it back in time for my train it's so steep and slippy 
one second. That's what I have to say. Space. Oh, no. I nearly died. I just slipped off the step and landed two steps below that. <laughs> it's scary. Let me put my camera away in a second. Oh, pretty view that way. God, I'm going to be so careful with these couples. My hand grenades fuse, baby, don't. 